Hey guys, check this out. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Oh, oh, shadows I'll, in the I'll blow some dirt off. Oh, that's okay. Let's just. Oh, there. wow. There you go. What's up everybody weirdo with the beardo uh, first signal of the day beautiful day this property has a lot of 1812 history uh, I've dug here before you guys have seen some of my finds here I haven't found a crazy amount of relevant uh, war of 1812 stuff here but uh, what I did just find is this old antique it looks like a would have been broken off in the center so that looks like it would have been a water shut off but actually i just i'm looking in the hole here you can see i'm a little distracted i just found this as well and that looks like an old pulley off a window system uh so from what i can tell it looks like an old pulley off a window system that's that's not crazy old but the tap you know that it, uh it's fairly old it's a find you know it's uh i'd rather be out finding stuff like this and you know, at work, I guess. <laughs> Here's to the next hole. It's a scorcher. How come every video I do, I end up being out like extreme heat? I feel like I'm digging in the desert, for God's sakes. Uh, here's something that's cool. So this house that's on this property was built in about the 50s. Uh, and the lady that lives here and her husband, who's since passed away a while ago, but uh, they actually built the house. Um, in-laws had a house back in the woods in about the 1940s they built theirs their house actually burned down a long time ago um, the other house is still standing I won't show you because I don't want anyone knowing this location this is a personal permission I don't ever want this woman being bothered or having someone illegally detecting her property unfortunately we do have to worry about people like that on occasion uh, if we give you know distinguishing features in our video but this is cool this is something that she doesn't even know about but I've just uncovered a bit of a bottle dump unfortunately nothing whole yet but I'm checking out some of these bottles and they're dating from what I can tell about 1920 to 1940 range uh, so there's some of the remnants here and there's a bit of milk glass there's some uh, there's actually some pottery which does have a bit of a design there's some cobalt. There's a various assortment. I'm just digging out the area a little bit here. And my trusty Equinox, of course, is the reason I found this spot. Uh, so I'm gonna dig this area a bit. I, I'm not too hopeful that I'm gonna get whole bottles uh, just because she's been farming this area like as her garden for quite a while. So, but it's, you know, I'm digging down to about a foot and a half so far. I am finding shards. Hopefully we find a whole bottle, but you know, it's cool even uncovering little pieces of someone's land that they didn't even know existed in the history. It's, it's fun, you know, this is what we get to do as detectors. It's cool. It's a great feeling. Check this out. I'm digging that bottle dump and look at this beautiful little marble. That's a nice one. Cool design in it. Man, I love history. Cool, the stuff you can find, eh? You're just, you're walking on stuff under our feet every day. Stuff that no one even knows has ever been there or is there. What a feeling, you know? So I'm still at that dump. It's been about 10, 15 minutes. I just found the marble like a minute ago, but I don't know if you can look in there. This, I found a whole bottle. It's not crazy old at all. Uh, I don't even know the age. It's got some stuff printed on it. It doesn't look very old to me, but there it is, right down in there. <sighs> so it's got something printed on it. That lets you know it's not crazy old. So the further over I go in this dump, the more I realize it's, uh, it's not terribly old. So there's a chance that maybe her husband was digging and burying stuff in here when they first moved in here. And then, uh, 
you know, maybe she didn't know about it. Uh, that's cool though. It's not, it's not very old, obviously, but it's a bottle. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can get any details off that whatsoever. Probably not. It's, oh, if I turn it the right way, it looks like it says VAM something grooming VAM. I'm going to have to look that up. I'm going to look that up right now. <laughs> So I want you guys to check this out. I just started moving over a bit from the other bottle I just found and look at that. That looks like a whole bottle in the hole. Unfortunately, I don't have my proper stuff to dig it, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start working my way over further and just digging out little pieces of the dirt. So I'm gonna try and put this in here so you guys can dig along with me hopefully. And I don't know if this is recording properly or not. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go this way a bit. And be very careful. I'm trying to go this way so I don't completely cover my camera system. And what I'm trying to do is just loosen the dirt off a bit because it's very compacted. Again, I don't recommend doing this when you're bottle digging. I normally wouldn't. I didn't know I could find a bottle on it, but there we go. Yeah, that's all right. Again, probably not terribly old. No, it's got a screw top, but it's neat. That's neat. A label probably would have gone right here, obviously. That's cool. That's a cool find. So how's that for a live bottle dig? And I didn't even cover you in muck. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain myself on video. That's neat. So this guy just popped out uh, next to the hole. I guess I covered him in dirt. Who wants to see me try and catch a frog? It's a huge leopard frog. Ready and booyah. Say hello to my little friend. Hello, buddy. Almost jumped in my mouth. He's a beautiful frog. He's nice and big. Look at him. What should we name him? Frogamus. This is my friend Frogamus. Anything to say? Rabbit. Red beard is a nut job. <laughs> I'm gonna let him go. He just flung dirt in my mouth. <laughs> I'm not having a successful run with creatures lately. I got a last video that kind of went viral that has you know over 3,500 views right now. Uh, bee tried to murder me and now a frog just shot dirt in my mouth. There's our new friend. Bye Frogamus. Just when you think that my videos can't get any stupider, <laughs> I introduce something new into it. <laughs> he must like me. He's hanging around. Maybe he'll follow me. Maybe he'll be my new friend. It's sad when you have to resort to a frog being your friend. <laughs> All right, back to digging. Okay, everybody, I gotta stop detecting now because it feels like it's 40 degrees out. The old beard's gonna sweat right off. Uh, but with some bonus footage, my daughter and I were able to go on an archaeological dig site. Um, it's really cool. We weren't permitted to touch anything, obviously. That was the one condition, don't touch anything and uh, don't give location, obviously. But um, I'm gonna include the footage of us walking around that site and just looking at stuff. Again, we were not able to touch anything, but uh, there's some cool stuff. So I'm gonna play that now. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, sub, and share. <laughs> See you next time, guys. Thanks again. What's up guys? So here I am. I'm actually an archaeological dig site. I'm not going to reveal the location. This is actually a farm that I have permission for, but I don't dig this area. But um, I'm just checking out this spot. It's really cool. I'm going to show you around a bit. We're not going to touch anything because this is an archaeolo archaeological area and we don't want to disturb what they're doing, um, you know, because we have respect for archaeologists and how they tell the story of history and group everything together. But let's take a look at around at some of the cool stuff I'm seeing here on the surface. 
So there you can see some brick. You can see here that obviously they found structure of some sort. It's all tarped off. Again, I'm not going to touch anything here, um, but you can see bone there. Over here, you can see some pottery on the surface, which is pretty common on most farms anyway, if there was any structures and stuff. But it's neat, this stuff. If I don't touch that, it's bone, huh? No, just leave it. You don't have gloves on. You don't want to touch anything without gloves on. But it's just neat to see how they do it. You know what I mean? I think uh, eventually archaeologists and uh, detectorists can really work together to... No, they're not making a swimming pool, hun. Archaeologists and detectorists can work together. I have permission to actually be here right now as long as I don't touch anything. So I thought that would just be cool to show you guys a quick thing of, uh, you know, when they discover stuff in an archaeological site, what they actually do. Uh, it's pretty neat. And there's an old brick there. It's obviously from an 1800s home. You can see even along the edges here, all the pottery and everything. Cool. Yep. So I've never actually dug this part of the farm because the farmer always had crops on it uh, since I've had permission here. But, um, you know, it's... Like I said, it's really cool to be able to check this stuff out. It's important though that you never disturb an archaeological site, uh, you know, because what they're trying to do is they're trying to uncover history and tell a story of what actually used to happen, you know. But at these sites, as I said, you can see cool stuff everywhere all the time. So, they're uncovering history just like us and one day hopefully we can all work together. Till next time. Hey guys, check this out. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Oh, oh, I'll, I'll blow some dirt off. Oh, that's okay. Let's just. Oh, there. Oh, there you go. They left this stuff here, obviously, because they're not. They're just conducting a dig. But look at that whole piece of plate all there, and look at this. That is so cool. Really cool, eh, boo? Yeah. Neat. Some of the stuff we're seeing. Yeah. Again, you do not ever touch stuff at an archaeological dig. Don't touch anything, leave it exactly how you see it. If And make sure you have permission to even be on the dig site. I have permission, um, so I was granted permission earlier in the week to even step foot on this, but again, as long as I do not touch anything, which I'm making sure I don't. But this is cool, even just seeing it visually. It really is. <laughs>